Welcome uh, back. We are at the border sessions, a two-day event uh, in The Hague about uh, innovation uh, uh, on, on lots of topics, uh, but in society in general, I'd like to say. Uh, my guest is uh, Genta Kondo. Uh, Genta, uh, uh, what do you do? Um, so I make this um, 3D printable bionic hand. Yes, um, it's for people who lost their hand. Yeah. And, and why did you start doing this? Um, because I, I was interested in how people control the hand, like more of a um, scientific reason, not to just help people, but to understand the way we move our hand. Yeah, and, and, how, uh, and how difficult uh, uh -huh. is it? How complex is it, um, how we move our hands? I mean, it's, um, it depends on the, the level you set. If you want to make people play piano again, it's still so much difficult. Yes. And, and so and what can you do? What sort of things can people do with your um, well, it, it, only the basic thing to um, pinch object and open and close your hand. But um, the thing we did with this hand is we reduced the cost. It, it, since it's 3D printable, um, it only takes like um, like 2,000 US dollars to produce this hand. 2,000? Yeah. And, and, and uh, what used to be the price? Uh, so, well, I'm talking about the selling price, but um, conventional hand costs like 15,000 or sometimes it's 100,000 or even more. So yeah, it was yeah. like buying a car. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you said, so it's 3D printable. Mm -hmm. um, so, so you uh, um, uh, you print them, and but how and how do they differ per person? Uh, uh, is, 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 is this hand for everyone, or is it for? Um, I mean, um, you have to customize to each person. Yeah. Because um, people who lost their hand, they have um, different size and um, shape of their residual arm. Uh, but um, for the hand part, um, it can be common. And um, we are uh, disclosing data as open source. So basically what they, they can do is they um, access to our uh, website and download the data and just print it. Okay, so yeah. it's an uh, open source program. Yeah, it's an open source project. Okay, but uh, uh, I'm really interested in a lot of open source projects that combine, say, open source and free, uh -huh. uh, but paid as well for uh, in, uh -huh. in the open source world, yeah. the GitHubs and et cetera. Uh -huh. Is that a sort of a common thing? Uh -huh. uh, how, is the, how do you make money? Um, so that has, that's a, a tough question, yeah. but uh, so far uh, we have got um, quite a amount of um, grants like f for, uh, from Google. The, Google um, did um, a, a competition called Google Impact Challenge, yeah. and um, NPO, we worked together, uh, got a um, top 10 prize, which is, um, uh, which is enough to um, uh, conduct this project for like three years. So th that's um, how we have proceeded so far. But from now on, um, we have to um, make this um, in a business model. So um, that's, uh, th th that's like open question now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh -huh. this, you don't have the answer for that yet. Yeah. But, but you have some room, so some, 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 uh, uh, some months left to, uh, to find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And uh, one interesting thing is that um, if we, um, did this project as cross project, the customer will be only people who lost the hand. But since we make this open source, um, people who want to make this hand, not, not use it, but make this hand join our community. So um, perhaps we can um, set a business model towards those kind of people. Yeah. So, uh, what, so what, what was the impact of the open, source, open sourcing of this product? Um, well, uh, first, it, um, it accelerated our development because um, since we are a sort of company, we only have three members. But since we uh, made it open source, people around the world is joining our development. Yeah. And um, also in um, dissemination too. So um, in each country, um, this hand has been copied and um, applied to p local people. So that must be, uh, for, for you, that must be something to be really proud of, or not? Um, yeah, I'm proud of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Besides of the business, but... Yeah, yeah. of course, yeah, yeah, of course. But, that, that, I mean, that's, that's really nice. I mean, you'd really make a change, uh, yeah. of course. Uh, mm -hmm. if, even if there wouldn't be the business, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. make a change. So did you see the, the Finnish guy? Um, 
and that, that has a sort of translator for uh, for the deaf people. You know, he, he, he did a presentation. Oh, that, well. yeah. yeah. Um, I wanted to buy Mr. Yeah. presentation. but that's something as well. You, uh -huh. ma you, you make uh, you <laughs> yes, make a change there. Yes, yeah. Yes. And you said I wanted to understand, uh, say, say, say how, how it works. How okay. Uh, uh, etc. Oh, yeah? So uh, this is a sensor we use. Um, even for people who lost their hand, they still have arm for most of the time, and they still have muscle that functions. So we put uh, the sensor around their residual arm and um, plug this cable onto it and um, turn on the power. And it, it works like this. Okay. So wh whenever I squeeze the sensor by my muscle, yeah. um, the hand uh, moves. And um, I can adjust the speed by the, the strength. Okay. So this is how it works. Yeah, yeah. and, and, and does, does this work as well? The, um, um, not, I cannot control from the muscle, yeah. but there's some button on okay. this part. So yeah, if yeah. I press this button here, uh, the, the some, some moves oh, like okay. this. So when I want to pinch, I turn around the, the thumb and I just do like this. So um, you're going to switch to the pinching mode. Yeah. Uh, you 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 started with, uh, with 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 this. Do you have any other um, uh, things you want to explore uh, um, apart from this hand? Yeah. Um, currently, we're still focusing on this hand because yeah. um, it's complex. Not, it's complex. Enough. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it, it still need pro um, improvement. Yeah. To be uh, really practical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there, there's uh, this is all 3D printable, but there yes. is. Uh, Technology in there, uh, in, in there as well. Is, is that a, is that complex technology that's in that's uh, um, in there, or is it only? Well, um, we have um, this special mechanism in the finger that, um, that this finger adjusts to the shape of the object you're trying to grab. Yeah. So we have a patent for this mechanism. Okay. And um, also our strength is this um, design, product design, and we have received um, several these international design awards so far. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, is what what sort of development do you see in 3D printing? Uh -huh. is, it, uh, get, is it the technology still getting better or cheaper? Or uh, yes, yeah, 3D printing is amazing because um, and this project didn't happen with a 3D printer because um, the market for prosthetic hand is really small. Uh, but um, if we applied conventional way of, of manufacturing, uh, we there's a huge initial cost to make a cast. So so that is the reason why conventional hand was so expensive. But for 3D printer, there's no initial cost. You design it and just um, print it. Yeah. And every time you can also change the design. So um, yeah. yeah, this couldn't be without um, yeah. 3D printing. How long did it take you to get to this, uh, this version? Um, th this is our fifth generation. And it took like one and a half year to get to this model. Okay, that's yeah. really fast. I think. Yeah, yeah, the, the process is getting really rapid, just like software. So it's really agile way of um, prototyping. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, yeah, really interesting. Yeah, impressive. <laughs> um, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, we are here for two days if you are watching live. So uh, later on more interviews and tomorrow all day as well from The Hague. Um, and if you uh, are not watching live, then you know that you can watch all the videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.